Chapter 8 A Quest for Knowledge. I wonder who the narrator is. I recognize the voice. Like, honestly, it sounds like Christopher Lee, which is impossible, I know. But, like, it sounds like another another voice actor I've heard in the past. I don't know. Okay, so what can we craft? So, Element Ward raises all allies' fire, frost, and storm defenses. Team repair heals all allies. That's worth it. And storm damage to one foe. He does a lot of lightning. Nothing for Copernica, though. So, anything I can upgrade. Kilovolt, Magic Mirror. Team repair, but we need more Trashium scrap. Uh, let's see. Do we have any equipment we can buy? Hello. Some defense bonuses if I want to do elemental resistance. Unfortunately, I don't know what I'm getting into, so... Unless I, like, need to go back and grind. Eh. Eh. Okay, so we want to do Dex, Galeo. Instead of Mend, I figure we should do the Team Repair. Do we? Oh. Interesting. Galeo and Auric are apparently, like, a really good combo. I don't know. I'm actually going to keep that singular mend. I'm not... I'm not sure which one I like more. But yeah, Galeo and Auric are heal bros and it's kind of amusing. Like the bricklayer took an extended lunch. Staring into an oh, staring into an unexpected abyss, our heroes measured the distance, stretched their legs, and prepared to. We're not going to jump. This is a regular campus safety measure. The groundskeeper's wandering eye, it's called. I see. As the bridge is there, but only if you take the right measures. Well, it's in the name, really. We need to find the actual eye. I believe they keep it in the gate tower. Cabinets! Omega Theta Bread. <laughs> but the headmistress said our gate was unbreachable. Whoa there, first of all, what's with that snooty tone? And second, what do you mean by headmistress? My lips are sealed, but taking good care of you will most certainly get me on her good side, Commoner. Okay, so we have Wizbots. Uh, let's toss that. Perfect. Delta Tau Punk A, Omega Theta Brat A. That is amusing. I love that. Let's get them all poisoned up. Okay. Bravado. Do do double edge. Eh. We'll just whammo this guy. Does he resist physical? No, he does not. <laughs> they say the nerds will inherit the earth. This is a lie. Uh, let's see. There they go. Wow. That was... Easy. That was a sharp reminder of why I fell out of love with this place. Elitus Bratz flooded campus, affected the mood, and smeared the school's reputation among the... Commoners. Villagers. Hey! Looks like that brat dropped something. Aha! Maybe it's the key to that door we passed. That would seem not only possible, but probable. 
I gotta admit, I've got a pretty low opinion of most frats myself. Uh, technically, I was part of one, and there was, like, some really toxic behavior there. The old teen always boasted that he'd run things until pigs flew straight and stopped crashing into his petunias. I'd really like to find out more about this new headmistress. Okay, let's find what we need. Aye, aye, Captain! But yeah, so I was part of a frat, and there was definitely some really unhealthy behaviors in there. It was fun, like, there was some pretty rad stuff that went on, but... There was also a lot that was just like, Oh, sweet Bessie, you people have social skills. Uh, social skill problems. Inspiring hero, bravado, and brave buster. We're gonna go for the Vomva. <laughs> Holy crap! She hits, like, trucks. But, like, honestly, I was... I belong to one of the more milder ones, as far as I'm I'm concerned. Uh, let's see. We could do... Yeah, we could do Focus, Searing Lash, and then Flame Pillar. That does some damage. Yeah, the Arachnobobs have wizard hats now. I think that was actually, a, like, a guard or a, a, a cop hat. Or... I don't know. I don't know exactly. Anyway, um... Let's see. Punch. Fixer. Regen. Oh, the music's different. Yay! That's good. I was really worried that we'd be listening to the exact same battle theme for the entire game. The answer is, it outlived its welcome a little bit, but not too much. It was a wizard's hat? Okay, I'll have to double check next time. It... Let's see. Let's just do this. Um, brain. What was I? Oh, right. But yeah, I. We didn't actually have that solid of frats at the college I went to. If, honestly, for the most part. Who even cares at that point? That's a thousand damage on one hit. I should probably upgrade all in next time we get the chance, now that I'm thinking about it. Hey, we get some smoldering em embers. Good, we need those. Um, yeah, the frats didn't have much of a presence, mainly because it was a nerd college to begin with. Uh, but there definitely was some, like, really unhealthy behaviors for them, too. Uh, oh, Stone Lion. Makes one, flow f well, one foe flinch. Switches to Kumenu Mask, which raises all of Oryx's defenses by one grade each. Neat. And I don't know what this is. Uh, but I know, like, for example, we lost... Oh. Huh? What do we have here? A navigator prison? Looks like the real deal, too. Many strange things with fancy names around here. This would be very useful. Now we can use the Wayfarer's Gates. They're sort of on-campus teleportation devices. They look a bit big. They look a bit like big iron discs with engravings on them. When activated, they light up. I believe I saw something similar a short while ago. Um, but yeah, we actually had one frat disbanded on my campus. Uh, so, like most colleges, there was kind of the, well, this looks kind of dingy. I'm pretty sure they rerouted this one for jerk moves. Hi! You look like fun. I should probably respect Copernica here. To not be fire related. Also, Searing Lash is not as cool as I thought it was going to be, unfortunately. Grab Magic Mirror. Electrolyze and... Get like one more support frost move on her. Otherwise, I could actually just bring Auric. I'm not entirely sure yet. Oh, I should switch her equipment around. Whatever. Uh, let's see. Mana barrier. Oh, yeah, that is a wizard's hat. I did notice. It kind of blended in, so it looked like he had a cap on. Okay. Buff her up. Electrolyze and creeping cold. That's it. 
Let's see. Let's do Electrolyze again. Magic Mirror on herself, and that. I'm just gonna keep rolling these for a second. Hey, thank you, Deranged Dozer, for the two month resub. Thank you so much. Ackling Laughter. Ooh, got confused. Shouldn't be a big deal. Let's do Fixer, Regen, and then Shields up. I'm not too worried about this. I know the bomb's about to explode, but. I don't know. It's actually nowhere close. We're kind of just destroying it. Okay, so we gotta get rid of that. Count countering that guy is is butts. Bravado. Double edge. Brave Buster. Let's see what happens. Ow. Well shit. Okay, so confusion confusion can do super unfriendly fire. Uh, let's just mend Galeo again. Hopefully we'll piss jet him to death. I'm not sure. I think he's weak to water. Yep, there he goes. Perfect. Confusion is rough, and do not counter counter fire damage on that guy. It is not worth it. Alright, there we go. Bravado! Double edge and all in. That's the thing. Let's see, is this a mobile game? No! Well, sort of. I mean, if you count the Switch as a mobile device. Oh, shoot. That just killed Armory. Well, she's back up, but ow! Bomb Plodge is locked up tight. Okay, uh, let's see. So we want to go Dex on her. Let's get rid of Magic Mirror. We'll just get another round of Creeping Cold. And equipment on her. I'm just going to get rid of the Meteor Fragment in favor of... Uh... Oh! Shit, that's really good. Okay, Black Belt. Small chance to counterattack for 100% strength when struck by an attack. We lose a little bit of damage for it, but honestly, that just means we can offset some of it over onto Copernica and potentially have the chance of just doing way more damage. Uh, let's see. And let's use a recovery vial. Let's use several. I don't know how many of those guys we're going to be fighting. Hopefully not many. Let's see, will this be coming out on Steam? Uh, it says PC on the, uh... On the, like, expected releases. So there's really just the question of... Uh... Will they, like, deviate from the normal release on Steam like everything else? I'm betting they just release it on Steam like everything else. I haven't heard of them... I... Image and Form so far does most of their exclusivity stuff with... Well, Nintendo. And not like Epic Games or anything like that. Okay, so I gotta look at this guy. Uh, let's see. That's not... This is what we're looking for. So, Flame Essence. Retaliates when with fire when struck with a physical attack. Oh, okay. So I've gotta kill him otherwise. That's probably for the best. So let's lose the Steam Punch. Fixer, Steam Punch, and Regen. Okay, so yeah. The reason why Armalia Ar killed herself is because she did a thousand damage to him, and he did a thousand back. I get it. Also, alright, uh, let's see. So, Bravado. Let's see. Double Edge, Brave Buster. Uh, you know, actually, I might just... Kill it. So we're gonna do double edge on that guy. We're gonna take some damage for it, but that's fine. Youch. Double youch. Okay. So I might want to almost consider switching up some of my build here for fighting these guys. Or I can just accept. Th Wait, hold on. Alternatively, I have a worst strategy. But it's not a good idea. I could just give her revenge and just have her heat those guys repeatedly. Because that'd be hilarious. Let's not do that, though, because that has, like, dire consequences that could potentially happen. But it'd be funny. Because, yeah, I could just accept that she's going to be at, like, nil health the entire time. 
What did I just get? I pressed A. I did a thing. Oh, unless that was a lever. That was a lever. Okay. So, if we go to this, I could just get her, uh, Fury. Which would just make it so she just does stupid amounts of damage every single time. We'd still have to gen up to it, though, which is kind of rough. <laughs> but yeah, we could just be it. We just go Fury mode every fight. Just smack -o things to death repeatedly. Smolder lowers all fo foes' fire damage or uh, fire defense by one grade for three turns. Interesting. If I played Armory as a support, I think I'd be more interested. This must be uh, the Grand Keeper's wandering eye. Grand Keeper's wandering eye. Oh, heck of an eye to wander off like that. Poor bastard. This is just what we need to activate the bridge. Or, this is just what we need to activate the bridge. Okay, what else do we have around here? I do not know. Onwards! Where does this take me? I. That's not what I'm looking for. I'm just gonna roll up. We hit a lever, it did something. It's just the question of where that something is. Oh, it's probably the gateway down here. Yep, it's unlocked. Hey, oh, what do we got? Found a superconductor. Steam pressure plus twenty five percent. Is that how much they generate? We don't bleed much. We'll go superconductor. That's interesting. So is this linked in any way lore-wise to the Steam World games? Yes, but I can't tell you. They that is the one embargo that I am stuck with is I can't actually tell you how this is connected to the other Steam World games, which almost feels kind of meaningless. And you guys, I'll show you guys the cutscene tomorrow. I, for those of you on YouTube, you might have to wait or something like that, but... Give faith to what is unseen, as you would to that what one can... Wait, what? Give faith to what is unseen, as you would to what one can touch and look at. That is... That is some Okay, that was actually pretty cool. I just drank some water, so I can't do Galeo's voice that well. Oh well. After after having used the yucky old eye from the tower, our heroes raced over the bridge. But yeah, for whatever reason, the oh okay, I have one other thing that is embargoed. That was it. All right. Uh, I have one other thing that's embargoed, which is specifically as soon as I reach chapter. Finish chapter 12, I have to stop, chapter but that's nine. fine. Back to school. I'm assuming we get to kill the, uh, the headmistress, and that's the end of it. They do look kind of party memory. Or villainy, I, I don't know. Hard to tell. It'd be interesting to have, like, a duo as a party member. Wow, after doing my best to leave the shackles of this place behind me. I burglarized my way back in. Oh, Copernica, I'm just happy you're not like those snooty, er, these snooty brats. It's okay. Right, back to school. Let's do this. Okay, so first and foremost, this is not what I want to do. Dex. Yeah, we got her an interesting new card. But I don't think I care too much about it. Wait, she actually has a nose? I'm kind of disappointed. Because you can't tell she has a nose in literally anything else except for Smolder. At which point she has a nose. She doesn't like... She doesn't... It doesn't... Ugh. Oh no, she does have a nose. You can, you can see it in the actual official art there. Okay, and the official art doesn't look so bad. But like, robots with noses just feels weird to me. She has hair, too. What? 
What? She has something going on in there. Yeah, you're right. I wonder if we ever get to see her with the helmet off. Fox has a nose. No, that's a mask. I don't actually know what he looks like under it. Attention all students. By decree of your headmistress, burner discipline is removed from the course list and replaced by body, soul, and gold. Oh, what kind of lesson is... This is... It almost sounds like... It sounds almost like... Like... That voice struck a chord with you. I... I'm not sure. Anyway, let's move on. Confounding. Interesting. No merchant's wagon yet. Found a spiked collar. The shadow over Alcidia. The day will come when El... El... Gyron, uh, Algeron? Algeron lays down his chains and our world breaks. What? Encouraging. I mean, technically true. There is actually a day when, when he does and the whole planet blows up. Oilers. Uh, let's see. So yeah, Auric is two levels behind at this point. That's not too bad. Okay, so let's... I want to take a look at Spiked Collar. Crit chance plus 8%. Well, we know who that goes on. I don't know what to put the rest of this on. We also do not have a new sword for him. Reign of Blades. Hero Chain card. That's eh, okay. I will probably pull out or Auric once I'm out of here. Mainly because... Uh, I mean, I do have stuff like Cyclone Slash. He'd almost be a good... Good character to use in lieu of Armory, but we don't really have much yet. All right, whatever. Whammo! Hi! Okay, punch. Poison. And regen. Let's start with that combo. Oh, he is weak to water. He does not like that. Okay. Well, let's lose shields up and mend. Aha! Aspiring hero, double edge, and brave buster. That should do enough damage to kill it. Maybe? It is resisting a lot of da damage. Okay, so it didn't it didn't kill it. Yeah, counter slash. I like that. Okay. So let's lose. Let's just do Fixer. Fixer, Focus, and Mana Barrier. I don't know if she can miss with Mana Barrier. Oh, we just used it on him. All right, whatever. Okay, Mana Barrier, Electro, Electrolyze, and Creeping Bolt. So we mana buried the enemy. Eh, so be it. I mean, he's not actually that tough. As long as I don't physically smack him ever. He pretty much is nothing to us. I just have to make sure I never hit him. With a regular attack. Because that's a bad idea. Let's see, should probably bust these up. Anything else? Nope. I don't know how many of these secrets are going to be puzzles or anything else. Anyway. Hey, there's something written on the chalkboard. It says important. Maybe it's a clue to something that can help us. Hello, alchemists and Orget enthusiasts. My research on the rumored mega zucchini referred to by the mountain tribes as the golden marrow or sasquash has finally come to fruition. Supposedly the golden marrow has migrated to the Dark Frost Mountains from a strange territory rich with unknown flora and fauna. For future map revisions, I have decided to call this strange ter territory the Cursed Lands. Killjoy Council Patrick doesn't like it, so everyone should really start calling 
at that until it stinks. I'm putting together a mountain expedition. Anyone interested in joining in and becoming part of Zucchini history can sign their names here. Yours sincerely, Professor Lemuel. P.S. Don't forget to pack your marble pillows. I'm gonna need signed up for this cuckoo trick. Let's see. None. Must not have been important. Sad Professor Lemuel. Lemmy, you goof. You goof. No. Okay, time to fight some jocks. Oh, no. Hello, jocks. Oh, for a second I thought uh, Copernica just like joined their side. I'm like, what? I'm confused by this. Wow. We really do get a bunch of extra steam out of that. Using him as a steam generator is absurd. Absurd. Double edge. Also double edge. Hello. How do you feel about it? intense smackings? Eh. Honestly, considering that face, you might actually like it. I'm not entirely sure if I'm keen on that. Focus. Creeping cold. Also creeping cold. Now the other guy seems to have some kind of shield over him. Oh, it's just a mana shield by a different visual. That's easy enough. Inspiring hero, brave buster, and other brave buster. Well, this guy's going down. Way. You know, merchant yet? I was kind of expecting she'd show up, but I guess not. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Oh, I can't screenshot this. Uh, so we want to go here and then green. For a treasure chest. Got a revive kit. Oh, purple. I mean, it's easy enough. It's just arrows. What is the point of this room? I honestly don't know. Yeah, I actually have no idea why that exists. Already? Oh, they might actually be party members. That's cool. Stupid dragon, we paid good money for that prism rock thingy. Now cough it up before I make you. The stomach acid will melt it. Aha! Looks like we caught up with the gate crashers and another dragon. Yeah, they're definitely the next set of party members. I like them. Speaking of caught, does this make you thieves? Very funny, frog face! And we're in the middle of a thing here, so if you don't mind getting lost... I'm trying to wrap my head around where you found a navigator prism in the first place. Oh yeah? How about you wrapping your head around this? Calm down, everybody. I'm sure that we can settle our differences and turn this situation to our mutual advantage. Fighting with bandits? Well, the two seem resourceful enough to know their way around, regardless of tricks, tricks and traps. They could prove useful allies. Huh. This place is nothing compared to the maze-like catacombs back home. We don't want or need your... Woohoo! Our heroes threw themselves at the chance to expand their team and beat the dragon. I'm down with this. Okay, mana barrier. I don't know who just mana barrier. We should probably make sure we mana barrier the correct person. Okay, sup dragon? That dragon did not take a whole lot of damage there. Shoot. Or maybe it did. I wasn't paying full attention. Okay, well he's just straight up asleep. 
That's a new one. Well, in that case, Aspiring Hero. Brave Buster, and then All In. Which has a minimum damage value, which is kind of fun. It doesn't do that much, but I'll take it. I can remember All In also is boosted by uh, Auric. Okay, well, we're doing damage to him. But yeah, I might want to consider bringing Auric along instead of Copernica after this zone. Okay, so we are blind, but that doesn't really stop us. We'll just miss physical attacks, probably, but I the only character that that actually really matters on... Oh, he's immune to water. That sucks. We don't need that. Okay, and she's not blind. The bravado. Double edge and brave buster. Yep, Frost Dragon. So I actually should have been using fire against this sucker. Oh, whatever. We are still blind. That's okay. No, we don't need that. Uh, get rid of the Steam Punch. Hmm. We still got regen. All of this is bad. Because it could do Fixer. Or we could just do Mana Barrier on Self. Bravado on Self and Regen on the party. Keep that Regen going. I wish you could kind of just keep stacking it or something, because that'd be rad. Okay, he's asleep again. We have not gotten anything particularly... Actually, you know what? Let's just... Roll the dice on that one. We get a Brave Buster, and I'm going to lose the Creeping Cold. Aha! Brave... Brave Buster. That's better damage. Because the problem is, he doesn't take any damage from water or cold. So, me using it is kind of meaningless. And now everybody's blind. Yay! Oh, shoot. I didn't actually do the extra fixer. Eh, then again, that doesn't matter. I don't think anybody can hit him for a little while anyway. Or we could just try anyway, because, like, who gives a dang? There's all in. I was waiting for that to show up. Do aspiring hero all in, probably miss. Well, dang. Kind of knew that was going to happen, but I was really hoping it wouldn't. So we might want to make her blind proof for the time being. Because as it stands, it's kind of lame otherwise. Steam punch, steam punch, and a fixer. And that gens us a hell of a lot of... Oh, we're blind. Well, gens us a whole lot of that, even if it's not useful. This is just kind of an embarrassing fight. We'll kill him with poison, or something. Something will kill him. Oh, we even missed poison. Well, that's... This is just sad. At some point, I will hit this guy. That blind is brutal. I... Unfortunately, since this guy's a unique enemy, it's just a massive inconvenience for this singular fight. I'm just gonna keep trying to hit him. One of these will land and kill him eventually. Dude, so what do the gears at the top mean? Uh, so at the top right of some certain cards, uh, this one has a gear zero, means it adds no more gears to the list. Whereas other ones, like Creeping Cold, has a gear one. Which means it costs a gear to use. And so... Uh... Oh, Armley is not blind. It'd be great if we actually had moves for it. At least she's not currently blind. 
Okay, well, there's all in, so... Freaking... I have nothing else I can do here. Okay, I guess we can do Bravado all in and then Steam Punch. That should kill it. But yeah, if we we're up against more enemies that were going to be blinding me, I'd, prov I'd, I'd, you know, get countermeasures. But as it stands, I don't know if I need them. You, you. The prism, it's totally gone. Look what you did. It's going to take even longer to get out, out, or take us even longer to get out now. My sincere apologies for any inconvenience at your end. However, at our end, we still hold the required means to advance through the Wayfarer's Gates. At this point, collaboration would surely benefit us all. Do we have a choice? Huh, fine. But we're not partners, allies, friends, or whatever. We're just happening to ramble in the same general direction. If I see something fancy, I'll grab it, whether it belongs to you or not. There's not a thing you can do about it. You squeaky sneak. Splendid! Everything worked out without anyone getting hurt. Put a sock in it, furry head! Except for my feelings. <laughs> they just gave him a doge face for that! <laughs> Somebody just went out of their way to draw that. Just because. Did they design him around the idea of that? I, I don't know. Anyway. Tara and Thane. Independent to a fault, these roaming grifters lack a true north and put their trust in nothing but themselves. Being away from home for so long, they've recon reconciled with the dusty roads. 